Christ and Easter International Fellowship. Praise God. We know that we are surrounded by the angels of God. Amen. Right now, and this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We receive our miracles. We receive our healing today. In the name of Jesus, sickness and diseases has no power over us. It has no place in our physical bodies, praise God. And we continue to repel and reject all forms of sickness and diseases. From the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. We believe, we receive, we are healed. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. We are happy, healthy, wealthy and wise. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, music ministry. You did a great job. Maraming salamat po. Praise God. Thank you, everyone. Amen. Everybody's doing a great job. Amen. Amen. We must be excellent for our service. Sana po sa ating Panginoong Jesus because He is an excellent God. Amen. He's a perfect God, an excellent God, and He deserves all the excellence that we can give. He is our Lord, our Master, our Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to shake hands with your brothers and sisters left and right. Look them in the eyes and tell them, thank you for coming today. You bless my life. Okay, so second row, lagyan po natin ang tao ito. Go forward, forward a little bit, forward po tayo. Praise God, amen, para yung anointing mas malakas. Ayan, praise God, hallelujah. <coughs> Bless the Lord, hallelujah. Okay, yung second row, praise God. Ano, mahal ang bayad dyan, praise God. <laughs> mga, yung bleacher, humurahin doon, dito kayo sa, ano, sa front seat, mahal ang bayad dyan sa front seat, praise God. At mas mataas ang anointing dyan, Amen. mas malakas ang healing power dyan. Amen. Harap. Amen. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. That's true. Amen. Lalo na medyo na ambon-ambon lang tayo. Praise God. Malakas ang anointing niya. Amen. Amen. Madalas ang mga, mga receive ng ambon kay Pastor Ted. Kaya praise God. Hallelujah. So, uh, before we start, praise the Lord, we have had a very, very successful and victorious. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Victorious evangelistic reunion. Praise God in the Philippines. And I want to thank everyone here in the Chief Family. Amen? Amen. We are all partners in Christ. Sabi po ng Biblia, we are one body. Mayroong kamay, there is a hand, there is a feet, there is an eye, there is a nose. All of us are all one body in the eyes of God. And the performance of one is the performance of everybody. Amen. Amen. The victory of one is the victory of everybody. Amen. There's so many people, new uh, people again, who receive Christ as Lord and Savior. There's so many newcomers ano po, na umaten ng ating service, and they are so blessed. Those who are antagonists, ano po, medyo relaxed sila. Uh, para bang hirap na hirap silang pumunta at the beginning, but praise God, after the service, their faces are glowing. Amen. They're glorious, praise God, hallelujah. Everybody. Na po, they came from Baguio, they came from everywhere na po. There's so many um, people that came from many different far places But they were all sulit, kumbaga sulit ano po, Yung kanilang pagpunta, they were all so blessed They received Christ as Lord and Savior And most of them, it is their first time to hear the Word of God Amen. And some Christians who have been attending their fellowship it's their first time to hear the pure Word of God being preached direct from the Bible. Amen. Amen. And they were so blessed. I received so many thank, thank you uh, messages from many different people. Praise God. And it's very encouraging. So all our efforts in the Lord are not in vain. Amen. 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 All our work, our labor, our efforts in the Lord are not in vain. We harvest plenty of souls last Sunday. At the same time, we revive those sleeping Christians. They will revive again last Sunday, praise God. And it is now our duty to continue to follow up on them, send them the Word of God, send them the verses, send them the videos on, on, on Facebook because most people are on Facebook now. Amen? So send them our, uh, our short videos on Facebook. Send them the whole message. The whole message is on the Facebook 
Ano po, uh, ipadala niyo po ito, send it to your brothers, sisters, whoever, you know, that needs salvation, friends, whoever they are, send it to them because Jesus is coming very soon and people needs to know how to be saved. Most people don't know how to get saved. And also, they need to learn and they need to hear and to know how to get saved by receiving Christ as our Lord and Savior through prayer. The prayer of salvation. And that message is complete. We have a prayer of salvation and that message. Amen po. So again, thank you very much for all the donations and all the effort and all the prayers and all the support that you've done. Okay? Maraming, maraming salamat po. Give a high five and give a praise God. Tell them, we are victorious in Jesus' name. We are victorious in Jesus' name. And uh, we will repeat this again. This is an annual uh, reunion, fellowship, praise God, hallelujah. Next year will be greater and bigger. Amen. And uh, I believe God will give us all the resources that we need. Alam niyo po, yung praise and worship, grabe, ang galing, ang ganda. Why? Because of the full band, of the, the whole sound system is great and the musical instruments are great. The, the praise and worship, praise God, and the sound system is, is so great. It's the reason why many, many people are really so blessed. Amen. Amen po? And we will come to that. Amen? We will have our own sound system, great sound system, baffles, big baffles, and so on and so on. We have great uh, team already. We just need a great equipment Amen. and a great place. Amen? But we will come to that, Pastor Henry. Amen? Amen. We will come to that. Praise God. God will give us a big, great place where we can invite people, our <coughs> relatives, our parents, brothers, Amen. sisters, friends. Hindi tayo mapapahiya. Amen. We'll never be put to shame. Why? Even the dancers are great. Praise God. You know, you know how, how how the people reacted. It's like it's the first time they see people dancing like this with anointing and energy and power and Amen. and synchronized and and, and the attire. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo. So the people. Are, oh. First time. Well, not in the Philippines. We don't have this in the Philippines. This kind of people and performances they were so amazed by our dancers plus the band praise god the band is so great praise god very professional praise god amen so we are so successful in what we did and thank you for all your intercessory prayers amen, amen. and thank you for fasting for us amen. it works amen it works amen. amen praise the lord hallelujah let's open our bibles in the book of Mark chapter 10, praise God. We'll start reading from verse 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. Let's put it on the screen, uh, maybe a verse or two verses at a time. Praise God, hallelujah. 46 to 52. Okay, this is blind Bartimaeus who received his sight, okay? Verse 46, Then they came to Jericho. Who is this day? This is Jesus and his group. And about Jesus and the disciples. They always walk around preaching the gospel, preaching the good news, preaching the kingdom of God, and preaching repentance to all people around Judea and Jerusalem and all those regions. And about so Jesus and the group are going from one place to the other, preaching the kingdom of God, the goodness of God, the forgiveness of God, and the things that they need to remove from their lives. That's very important, Paul, no? Okay? So let's uh, continue reading. Then they came to Jericho. Okay, Jesus came to Jericho to preach the word of God and to teach the word of God also. He didn't come there just for a party or for a feast. No, 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 no. Jesus came in every place to teach people, to save people, and to bring people into the kingdom of God. You remember si, uh, Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus was one of the persons who benefited when Jesus uh, visited Jericho. You remember he climbed up on the sycamore tree? Amen. He climbed on the tree and then Jesus saw him. Then Jesus says, uh, Zacchaeus, I am going to have a dinner in your house tonight. And Zacchaeus was so happy. They had a dinner. Jesus taught the word of God. In short, praise God. Everybody in the house of Zacchaeus, they got born again. 
they receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Ano po, that was in Jericho. Now here, there is another guy who got blessed during the visit of Jesus in Jericho. Okay? So they came to Jericho and asked Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd. There's a large crowd. This is the last day of Jesus' visit in Jericho because they're leaving the city already. Okay, they're leaving the city already. And a blind man, Bartimaeus, that is the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Nakahabol pa sa miracle si Bartimaeus. Jesus was living already. But when he heard that it was Jesus, you know, he heard the people, they, 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 they were noisy, they were in commotion. And they heard, and he heard, who's, who's that person? It's Jesus of Nazareth. So when he heard that it's Jesus, he knew that Jesus heals people. Amen. He knew that Jesus performs miracles. He knew that Jesus loves people. He doesn't condemn anybody. He doesn't heal only the righteous. No, no, no. Jesus says, I came not for the righteous, but for the sinners. Amen. I came to call the sinners. And this is what we're doing, right? Amen. We go out there in the Philippines, we call the sinners. We call our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, our children. We call them to come into the place where the word of God will be preached. Ano po, hindi po tayo namimili na ito lang ang dalin mo. Ito. No, 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 no. Everybody. Everybody is qualified to be saved. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Everybody is being called by God into the kingdom of heaven and everybody is qualified to be saved. <clears throat> Whoever you are, the Bible says, God is not counting our sins against us. God is not counting our sins against us. Hindi po binibilang ng Diyos sa ating kasalanan. Whoever you are, you are a drug dealer, Drug addict, whoever you are, a prostitute, sexually immoral, homosexual, praise God. God loves you. Amen. And God is calling you to His kingdom. But the requirement is we need to repent and believe the good news. We need to make a decision that we will change right now because I want to enter the kingdom of heaven by accepting Christ as my Lord and Savior. But it is coupled by repentance. Kailangan meron po tayong puso handa. We must have a prepared heart to repent. A heart that is prepared to turn around from sin to righteousness. Ito po kailangan ng tao. They need to learn to know that they should repent. They should turn around from sin to righteousness. And what are those sins? And the Bible's mentioned all those sins. Lahat po ng kasalanan ay mention ng Panginoon in the Bible. So that, praise God, they know kung ano position nila. Because if the Bible will not, will not say or will not tell them what are their sins, they don't know. Why? Because the society now accepts almost everything. Is that right, Pastor Henry? The society now, okay, man, accepts almost everything. Are you homosexual? Yeah, yeah. You're a lesbian? Yeah, accept, accept it. You're, you're a dirty politician? You're accepted. Come on, give me 50 pesos. I'll vote for you. This is, this is how the society is going on now. So the Bible is telling the public the things that you need to remove from your life. They need to know the things that they need to remove from their life. What if I'm a BIR employee? I don't know that, you know, under the table is bad. I need to know, like Matthew and uh, Zacchaeus. I need to know. Now that I knew, praise God, hallelujah, then I can stop or I can continue. It depends on my will. It depends on your will. But God said, you stop that and then believe the good news and then you will enter the kingdom of heaven. You will enter the kingdom of heaven. We need to know what is right and what is wrong in the eyes of God. This is the reason why it's very important to study the Word of God every day. Listen to the Bible study. Listen to the preaching. So that we would know what is right and what is wrong. Then we can clean our lives. Sin brings curse. Sickness, diseases, poverty, 
worry, and fear. This is the reason why most people are burdened. Burdened by what? Burdened by sin, by curse, by the effects of sin. They're so burdened. Most people are poor. Most people are sick. Most people don't have joy. Most people don't have happiness. Most people are confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to make wise decisions. Why? They don't have any basis. The basis for us to make wise decisions is the Word of God. Amen. For example, may naliligaw sa'yo. Hindi mo naman alam ang Word of God. Po, somebody is quoting you. And, ano bang basis ko? What is my basis to say yes to this guy? Is it because, you know, I can feel something in my heart? What if the guy is a drug lord? What if the guy is irresponsible? What if the guy is this and that and this? So, in knowing the Word of God, we can make wise decisions in every area of our lives. Apang importante po. Now, we have the mind of Christ, the wisdom of God should be formed within our hearts. Now read, and they come to Jericho, and as he went out from Jericho, now they're going, they're going to go out of Jericho, okay? Because they're going to go to another place. With his disciples and great multitude, the son, okay, the son of Timaeus, Bertimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the wayside. He was there. Let's go to the next verse, okay? And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, when he heard Jesus the Nazarene, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will never be dismayed. Hindi mo papahiya. You'll never be embarrassed if you call upon the name of the Lord. Actually, in fact, even the unbelievers, you know, when they call upon the name of the Lord in case of emergencies, God appears and help them. I heard, I heard so many testimonies about that. The guy is, is not a believer. He's a, a, a tanker driver. That the, uh, the truck is full of uh, gasoline. And it burned. He could not get out. He was burning already. He could not get out. I don't know what happened to the door. He could not open the door. He shouted to the Lord. He said, Lord, help me. The guy is an unbeliever. He was telling the story. Suddenly, the door opened and he fell down off the truck and then he ran away. But he was burned from here down. But Jesus still heard him. Amen. Though he was an unbeliever. Amen. He was an unbeliever. You see, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, We'll never be dismayed. Hindi po tayo mapapahaya. If you have a problem, praise God, you call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. And believe. And then wait. And then praise while waiting. Amen. That's the process. We have a problem, Lord, help us. You're preparing for your marriage, Lord, help us prepare. Amen. God will open doors and will we'll provide people who could help, the information, and so on and so forth. God will help until you reach your victory. Amen. Anything we need in the school, in the job, in, in any project that you might have, call upon the name of the Lord and then believe and then wait and then while you are waiting, you are praising God every day, the answer will come. Amen. The answer will come. You see here? When he heard that it was Jesus the Nazarene, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. When we have problem, ang una po natin tatangguan, the first person whom we, we run to is Jesus. Amen. The Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And then you can run to the pastor, to the brother, to the sister, to the other people, but the first person whom we should run to should be Jesus. We need to communicate with the Lord every day. Communicate with Jesus every day. Talk to Jesus every day. Tell Him your plans. The Bible says we can do all the plans we want to do, but God directs our steps, meaning to say, although we have a plan, Joey, but still God 
He's directing our steps. He will still correct our plans if there are things that need to be corrected in our plans. Amen. But we have a plan. We involve God. Praise God. God will correct our plans. He will perfect our ways. Amen. He will help us. But involve God in your lives. Amen. Involve God in your lives. Amen. So that somebody would help us. Amen. God is our helper. Sabi po ng Biblia. He is our helper. Our provider. Our victory. Our banner. Jesus said of David. And then, okay, many people rebuke him. That he should hold his peace. But he cried out the more a great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So during, you know, during the times of trials and troubles and problems and challenges in our lives, these hindrances to call on the name of the Lord and hindrances to kill your faith, to suppress your faith, will come into your minds, into your heart, and yan sa paligid, yung mga discouragement, they will come. But praise God, don't listen to discouragement. Listen to the word of God. Amen. There are always so many discouragement. This is he, he was being rebuked by many people. He was being discouraged. If he didn't pursue with his faith, he will remain blind until he dies. Well, it's just a Jesus. Jesus might not go back to Jericho anymore because he'll be crucified in a little while. So if he didn't insist on his faith, he will not receive his uh, miracle. But he insisted. Many rebuke him. Many stop him. Some people will rebuke us. Some people will stop you. Some people will discourage you. Some people will say, Oh, your prayer will not, will not be answered. You know, That's impossible. So on and so forth. There is nothing impossible with God. Amen. There is nothing impossible with the creator of the universe. Amen. He created the whole universe. The heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars. The whole galaxy. How can... Something so little be impossible with the God who created the universe. Amen. You need to think about that. Lord, you created the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all the creatures in the sea, the forest, the mountains, and all the wild beasts out there. They belong to you. Bakit hindi ako kaya ang tulungan ng Diyos? Siguradong kaya ang kaya ang tulungan ng Diyos. Amen. But God needs to see our trust in Him and faith in Him. Amen. Kinakailangan makita po, kagaya ng pananampalataya ni Bartimaeus. He showed his faith to Jesus. Amen. And when Jesus see our faith, the Bible says, Hallelujah. He will be moved by our faith. Amen. Always remember, brothers and sisters, God is moved by faith. Amen. By our trust in Him. By our confidence in Him. By our faith in Him. God is moved. By our faith in Him. Kumikilus po Diyos. And God is obliged when He see our faith. Wala po siyang magagawa. The Syrophoenician woman, you remember? Itong babae na to na she, uh, she's from Lebanon. She's not an Israelite. And uh, she keeps on calling, Lord, help me, Lord, help me. My daughter is demon-possessed. Help me, Lord, help me, Lord. And the disciple says, you see, another discouragement. Lord, pawin mo na siya, send her home. She's bothering us. But the woman is so insistent. So persistent and so insistent. She has faith in Christ and Jesus saw her faith. Even Jesus rebuked her. And Jesus said, you know, the bread belongs to the children. But she says, Lord, even the crumbs will be satisfied. Will satisfy me. Even the crumbs of your, of your power will heal my daughter, she says. Amen. So Jesus was impressed. And what did Jesus say? Woman, great is thy faith. Amen. Great is thy faith. So don't look at the situation. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight, the Bible says. Don't look at the situation. Don't listen to the people. Don't look at the people. Look at the Word of God and listen to the Word of God and continue to declare what you are asking for and believing for. Amen. This is how we show our faith to our Lord Jesus Christ. And you will see. 
You will succeed in every area of your life. Just keep on waiting and keep on declaring and keep on praising God. And you will see how the Lord will move in our lives. Like Bartimaeus praise God. You see it? Many rebuke him. Many rebuke him and say, Quiet! Be at peace! You're disturbing us! Ang ingay-ingay mo, Bartimaeus! But Bartimaeus was not stopped by all these rebukings and hindrances sa kanyang miracle. He finally got his miracle. He finally got his miracle. So whatever you are asking for from the Lord, whatever it is, salary increases, bonuses, additional money, house, land, car, whatever it is, Lord, I claim and believe I receive in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, Lord, what things ever I desire. Lord, I desire this thing. What is that thing? You tell it to the Lord. I desire to have it, Lord. I need it, Lord. I believe I receive it. And then the Bible says you shall have it. You shall have your desire if you have great faith. Huwag po kayo titingin sa sitwasyon. This is our problem, ano po? So, you know, after the message, after the church, ito nakita yung naman situation, ito na po, you forgot Jesus na naman. <laughs> you always forget the words of Jesus, the promises of Jesus. Kaya na dapat lagi tayo nakatutok sa Bible. Lalo na kung may mga special needs po tayo. Laging nakatutok dyan. Mark 11, 23, 24, tutok ka dyan. Lord, you said in your word, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Go throw yourself into the sea. It shall not doubt in his heart, but believes. It shall come to pass. You said in your word of God, what things ever I desire when I pray, I believe I receive them. And I shall have them. Lord, I stand upon your word. I believe your word. I know I have it already. It shall come to pass. Come on, give him praise. Don't be discouraged by what you see, what you hear. Any situation, praise God. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says we walk by faith every day. Amen. That's every day. The righteous shall live by faith. Amen. Ang lahat ng matuwid na taong, mga anak ng Diyos, ay nabubuhay sa pananampalataya. Meaning to say, Every day, we live by faith. Amen. Lahat ng gagawin po natin, we are doing it with faith and trust and confidence na tayo ay tutulungan ng Panginoon. Nothing is impossible to God. Nothing. Walang imposible, walang mahirap si Diyos. We just need to move God by our faith. Move God by our faith. Don't cry. Tell your neighbor, don't cry. <laughs> Keep praising God. <laughs> Crying will not bring you anything. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. When you cry, it means to say, wala ka ng faith. Wala ka na, desperado ka na. You are desperate already. Why? Umiyak ka na eh. Praise God. Right there, Brian? Don't cry. God wants a bold Christian. Yung matatapang na Kristiyano. Because of her, because of his boldness, he opened the door and gave him bread. You remember the story? Amen. Because of the man's boldness, his friend opens the door and gave him everything he has. And Jesus says, look. Look what happened here. Boldness is important. Sa lahat ng ating hinihingi sa Panginoon. Why is faith so important? Why? Because we have plenty of needs and our needs don't stop. When one of your needs is supplied, there's another need that will come again. There's another need that will come again. Another need that will come again. Lumalaki expenses natin, lumalaki mga bata. Needs are expanding. Have we been? So we must expand our faith. Expand our faith. Why? Because our needs are expanding. They are multiplying every now and then. Tumataas ang tuition fee. Tumataas ang mga bilihin. So we need our faith to be strengthened and increasing day by day by day. 
Dapat naging Christong faith natin sa ating Panginoon. And you will see, you will be victorious every day in every area of your life. Sa trabaho, sa kids, business, whatever it is, you will be successful. You will reach the level where your provision is over your needs already. Where your provision is over your needs already. Dadating din yan. Tell your neighbor, dadating din yan. Yayaman ka rin. Amen. It will all come. But it needs a lot of faith to cross that line. Praise God, the poverty line. We need to cross over the poverty line. We need to cross over the poverty line para when you cross over that line, praise God, your blessing is more than your needs already. Amen. Your blessing is more than your needs. Hindi ka na maihirapan, hindi ka na iiyak, praise God. Hindi ka na mag-worry. What happened here? Let's continue, praise God. Okay, Jesus is stopped because He was His attention was called by Bartimaeus. Our faith should call the attention of God. Our persistence, our patience should call the attention of God. Jesus stopped and said, Call him! So they called the blind man, Cheer up on your feet! He's calling you. Kanina, you stop me, cheer up. Hello, hindi mo mga tao talaga. Kanina, stop, stop, you're noisy, you're noisy. Okay, porque tinawag na ni Jesus, oh, cheer up, cheer up. On your feet, He's calling you. And don't listen to people. Amen. Amen. Don't listen, they will discourage you. Amen. They will discourage, they will say, oh, you know, that faith, that, it doesn't work. Well, sa church nyo, hindi nag-work, sa church namin nag-work, no? Amen. 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 Praise God. In our church, Jesus alive. Amen. We are healed. We are blessed. We are prosperous. Praise God. Amen. Come on. Kung sa church nyo, hindi nag-work ang faith sa amin, nag-work ka mo. Jesus is in our church. And we have seen so many miracles already in our lives. Amen? So many promotions, salary increases, but continue to use your faith. Amen. Jesus stopped and said, Call him! So they called the blind man. Cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. Pag-bless ka na. Ito na sila sa tabi mo. Cheer up! <laughs> Bless ka na eh. Pwede ba makahiram? Pwede ba makautang? Pwede ba? Praise God. Hallelujah. Kanya lang tao. Pero pagka walang-wala ka, wala ka kaibigan. Amen. When you're poor, you have no friends. Amen. But when you're blessed, you, Joey, Amen. you attract friends. I don't know why. <laughs> you attract people. Oh, guwapo mo, Brian. Bakit mahirap ako? You're not telling me na I'm guwapo. <laughs> telling me I'm guwapo pag kid bless na ako. Huh? So, throwing his cloak aside, you listen to this. Every beggar in Israel has an official beggar's clothes to identify that they are beggars. There is a cloak, beggar's cloak. So pag nakita mo, ay, beggar yan, beggar's cloak yan. Ito beggar to, ay yan, hindi, ito beggar. So he threw away his cloak. This is an act of faith. Before he approached Jesus, he removed the beggar's cloak. Meaning to say, when I meet Jesus, hindi na ako beggar. Amen. When I meet Jesus, hindi ko na kailangan to. Beggar's cloak. Because Jesus will heal me, Jesus will bless me, then I can start working properly, I will never ever beg again. Amen. So this thing that he did, he threw away his cloak, Jump on his feet and came to Jesus. This is an act of faith. Kagaya po ng ibang mga nasa mga healing crusade. Ang ginagawa, the, the, the evangelists are getting their crutches and destroying their crutches so that the, the person who got healed will not rely again on the, on the crutches. Why? Because sometimes when, when the faith died down, bumagsak ang faith, hanapin ah, na naman nila yung kanilang tungkod. 
So they depend again on their mga tungkod-tungkod nila. May isang wheelchair. Isa reason why some evangelists, kinukuha niya, ginag-gather nila. Hindi din sinusol, they didn't return it back to those who got healed. Why? Para in their mind, hindi na ako tapat, pumalit talaga ron. So I need to walk by faith. Yung po ginagawa. It's the same here. He threw away his cloak, and then he came to Jesus. Meaning to say, praise God, I don't need these beggar's clothes anymore. Because I met Jesus already. Jesus will perform miracle in my life. Amen. He will perform miracle in my life. Throwing his cloak, okay? Okay, Jesus asked, verse 51, What do you want me to do for you? Jesus wants us to be specific. Lord, help me, help me, Lord, help me. Help you for what? Financially, healing, what? Ano bang help ang gusto mo? We need to be specific. Kung anong problema natin, tell it to Jesus. Amen? Amen. Specific. Tell it to Jesus, whatever is your need. So Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do? For you. Ano ba ang gusto mong gawin, Jesus, sa'yo? Tell it to Him. Tell it to Jesus. Lord, I want you to save my father and my brother and sister and whoever those who are not saved yet. Then Jesus will continue to work sending angels, sending Christians, send them to activities like we did last Sunday and so on and so forth. Until they got saved. So specific. Lord, I want you to give me a good high paying job. What kind of job? Siyempre, related sa skills mo. You tell it to our Lord Jesus Christ. And then He will help you find a good high paying job. When you ask for a job, ask for a high paying job. Amen? Amen. And then, Lord, I need a job, I need a job. Binigyan ka baba ng sweldo. Lord, ba't ang baba ng sweldo? Eh, hindi mo naman sinabi yung gusto mo mataas ang sweldo eh. <laughs> Tapos magre-reklamo ka, then he will complain. Hello? Amen. When you ask for a job, ask for a good, high-paying job. Amen. With a good boss. Amen. O, ang high-paying job nga, sama naman ang boss. Sabi mo, Lord, ba't ang sama ng boss ko? Eh, hindi mo naman hiningi mabuting boss eh. Kaya, ayan, napunta sa'yo. So, we need to be specific. I used to declare, Lord, thank you. I have the best job in town, the best boss in town, the best pay in town in the name of Jesus. That was my declaration before. And I was asking for the Lord to give me a good, high-paying job. Lord, thank you for a good, high-paying job with the best boss in town, the best job in town, the best schedule in town in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God answers my prayers. You know, some Christians... Na-assign ang panggabi. Wala nang gagawin. Oh, Pastor Ben, I cannot attend. Ati Tess, I cannot attend the Bible study kasi, you know, I was, you know, scheduled night. Oh. Parang natutuwa pa ng konti. <laughs> Because they cannot attend the Bible study. Pa, parang justifiable pa yung kanilang, ano, hindi pag-attend. Oh, but this is to their disadvantage. Why? Pag nalayo ka sa Word of God, ihina faith mo, ihina ang iyong attracting power ng blessing. Tandaan niyo po yan. God can bless you more than the overtime or the part-time or whatever it is. Maraming hidden blessing ang God. Maraming hidden blessing ang God. Blessing without effort. Blessing with, wala, marami po niya ng Lord. So when we ask for a job, Lord, give me a good high-paying job, the best job in town and the best boss in town. That's related to my skills and ability. And I claim and believe I receive, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And God will give it to you. Okay, Brian? This is how we pray. Specific, like Bartimaeus. Jesus says, What do you want me to do for you? Diyos ba siya? Yes. Alam ba niya need mo? Yes. yes. But why is he asking? He wants you to be specific. Amen. He wants you to be specific. 
Lord, I want my daughter, my child to enter a good school. Oh, but there's so many good schools. Nandun sa Mindanao, nandun sa Bisaya, nandun sa Ilocos. Mami, binigyan ka sa Ilocos at taga-Mindanao ka. O, oh, hindi ba? So, ask for a specific place, specific school, whatever it is. Be specific in asking from the Lord. Para alam ni Lord yung ibibigay sa iyo. You will not complain when the blessing manifest. Kasi pag wrong blessing na bigay sa unit ka naman from zero. Pray ka na naman ng another prayer. It takes sometimes months and years yung mga prayer answered natin. So be specific. Para pag na-receive mo talaga ang praise God, hallelujah. Ito na yun, Lord. Amen. Exacto. Pag may nag-offer, ay, ay hindi yan. Hindi yan hinihingi ko eh. O oh, alam mo, di ba? Kung para sa iyo, no, hindi. Why? Kasi ang hinihingi mo sa Panginoon, si A, binigay. May dumating si B at saka si C. Lord, this is not my prayer. So alam mo, kung this from the Lord or not, or from the devil. Kasi pwede kang bigyan ni Satan ang job na ilalayo ka sa church. Kaya lang, he will kill your spirit. Kill your spirit. May mga offer dyan kung saan saan. Kaya lang ilalayo ka doon sa church mo. You cannot serve God anymore then your spirit will die, and then wala nang faith mo, wala nang salvation mo, bandang huli, na, nawala rin yung job, wala ka na, ninakaw na ng job lo, Satan can steal anything. And dapat tayo po ay may discerning spirit yan. Ay, malalayo ako sa church, hindi yan, hindi yan ang offer ni Lord. Naferan ka sa Dubai, hindi ka makakate ng church doon, no? hindi yan. Ay, ako Dubai, Dubai, no? ito na, ito na, Lord, thank you, thank you, hindi naman pala yan. Punta ka Dubai, ay, wala pala yung church dito. Ay, may church nga, walang taga-sundo. Nobody will pick me up. And tamad mo pa naman. Oh, nobody will pick me up. Hindi ka na makapag-church. Hello? Amen. Walang free food. Eh, dito sa church, talagang libre ka. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Gusto mo, everyday. Attend ka ng BS everyday, libre ka. Praise God, hapunan. Wala namang pipigil sa'yo eh. So, tanji dyan ka lang eh. Hello, hallelujah. Pero maki-hallelujah ka lang, please. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ka naman taga sa amin. Hallelujah, please. Gutom ako eh. <laughs> Free food! Wala kang tulugan. May tulugan tayo dyan. Anim na tao pwedeng matulog dyan sa Levi's quarters. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen? Eh, napunta ka ng bahari. Oh, mga bahari. Oh, baboy, baboy. Nang baboy ka na naman. Dubai, 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 Dubai. Pagdating mo sa Dubai, praise God. Walo kayo sa isang kwarto. Ang division nyo, kurtina. Eh, pito nagihilig. Ikaw hindi. Seven people are snoring and you're not snoring and you are eight in the room, praise God. You cannot sleep. And then, sabi mo, Lord, bakit ganito? Eh, it's not, it's not from God. It's not from God. Pag may stable job na kayo rito, okay nga, alis. Lalo na pupuntaan free country, praise God. Dito, yayamang kayo, basta't marunong na kayo mag-ipon. Sorry, yeah. why? Kukunti ang ano rito, ang temptation to spend. Kukunti ang temptation to spend. Pag ando tayo sa labas, praise God, ang pera mo, ang bilis ng labas. Kanda kilos mo, labas ang pera. Hindi ka makapag-church, you cannot go to the church without taking a taxi. Dito, somebody will pick you up. And bring you home. Right, Kuya John G? Pinipick up natin sila, hinahintay pa sa bahay. Naghihintay pa tayo minsan. Praise God, hallelujah. Tagal-tagal pang bumaba minsan. Hello? Right, Ati Tess? Sinundo mo na, praise God, may utang na loob ka pa, patang aga mo. Ay, tanga tayo, pumira ka. We're late already. You know, early. Ganyan yung mga Christian eh. But praise God, we have the virtue of patience. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, di para? Ganun talaga. Sa the transport ministry. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's the Lord who will bless us. Amen. Amen. And don't leave. Riyad, bayan nyo, yumamang kayo rito, bayan nyo kayo ay uh, mabless ng Panginoon dito sa Riyad. This is the most conducive place to grow spiritually. 
Saudi Arabia. Para pag alis siya ng Saudi, general na kayo ng Panginoon. General ang faith nyo wherever you go. You have a very, very strong faith na. Hindi kayo matatago ng kaawal. Amen? Stay here in Riyadh. Stay in, the, in, in this place where, you know, it is very conducive to grow spiritually. Yeah, we are You grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. When you have great faith, praise God, you can get anything from God. You can get anything from God without leaving Riyadh. We, we didn't leave Riyadh, praise God. We got blessed. Strong faith. Serving God. You shall be blessed. Eh, si Ate Tess, lang ka na na-promote. Tatlo na. Real care, National Guard ng King Faisal. Praise God. Hallelujah. In just a matter of years. Few years. God will answer your prayers. Eh, may antikati na promote ka na, di ba? Amen. 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 Give a praise. Give a praise. Super blessed tayo dito. Huwag kayo ma-attract ng ilaw. Lagi kasi Dubai, Dubai. London. Pagdating mo sa London, wala kang kasama. Ay, ang pangit pala rito, mga... Ang mga tao, masyadong discrimination. Ang tingin sa Pilipino, hindi tao. Yeah, iba mga Western, ganyan po yan. Mas kailan anong suot mo, ganda mo na. Basta't nakita Pilipino ka, I iba, iba, iba ang ano nila. Discriminated ka kagad. Eh, di sa real praise God, walang di-discriminate sa'yo. Lalo na sa chief ka, praise God, hallelujah. On fire! Amen. Amen. You have reputation. As a child of God, you have a reputation as a child of God. And then when you go home, then you can bring your family to Christ. Like Ati. Amen. Amen. Kati. You can bring your mama and papa and brother and sister. Mas importante ang salvation ng ating kamag-anak kaysa pera. Tandaan niyo po yan. Amen. Money will vanish, but the salvation of your parents will remain. They will stay in heaven forever. Amen. That's the most important thing. The salvation of soul ating mga kamag-anak. Paka-importante. Hindi sa reason why Jesus died on the cross. Because of the salvation of the soul of mankind. Kasi pag napunta na sa impyerno, they can never ever get out of hell. Di ba Abraham and Lazarus? Lazarus and, and the, uh, the rich man? Sabi ng rich man, Father Abraham, can you help me go to, the, to that place? No, 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 you cannot come to this place. Once you are there, you're there forever. Forever ka na dyan. You cannot, hindi ka na pwede magbuhay ulit. Patay ka na eh. Wala ka ng body, natunaw na body mo. Your body has been decayed or cremated. Alam mo, delikado yung cremation. Ano malay mo pinapalikan ni Lord? Aba, wala na akong body. Sinunog nila. Hindi ka man sinabing sunugin yung body ko. Ayan, pinabalik ako ni Lord. Wala na, hindi na ako makabalik. Eh kasi, ayan, pinremate na eh. That is a pagan practice. Don't do that. Ha? Sa parents nyo, sa family nyo. And tell your parents, don't cremate me when I die. Sabi mo, baka pabalikin pa ako ni Lord eh. Wala na akong babalikan na body. Kasi maraming pinababalik ni Lord. Although they die, 24 hours, 2 days, 3 days. Si Lazarus nga, 4 days eh. Eh kung kinremate ni Mary, tsaka ni Mata si Lazarus, ano nangyari? Sige nga, paano babalik si Lazarus? If Lazarus' body was cremated, Jesus came. O paano? Although wala namang imposible sa Panginoon, kaya lang hindi niya inutos na i-cremate. Ang body of people, especially the people of God, Lahat po ng namatay na Jew, tao ng Diyos, walang kinremate dyan. They were all buried. Abraham, Moses, Joseph, lahat po yan. Pagkat yan ay pagan na uh, ritual, yung mga cremation, cremation, yun, nauuso na yan. What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see Specific. Lord, I want to see. I want to be healed so I can serve you. I want a good high-paying job. I want you to save my mother, my father. I want you to give job to my brother. Na walang trabaho pagkatagal-tagal na give him job, Lord. Pag-pray ng karoon silang trabaho. 
Pag pareho magkaroon ng conviction ng trabaho. God will give them conviction to work. Para hindi sila parasite na depending on you all the time, every end of the month. Padala, 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 padala. O yung padala, yung padala. Lagi nilang padala. Karoon ng beggar mentality. Ba? Kinakailangan pag working age ka pa, you need to work. Eh minsan yung ibang mga tao, ang lakas-lakas pa, 30 plus, 40, nagre-retire na. Hindi pa nag-upisa magtrabaho, nagre-retire na. And then, ay, dyan pa si Joey, 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 Kuya Joey. Ginahingi. Oh, you pray for them. Lord, give them conviction to work. So they can produce something by their hands. Amen! Pag-pray natin. Lalo na tayo mga OFW, napaka-vulnerable po natin sa ano, sa hingi ng padala. Napaka-vulnerable po natin. Tayong victims ng ating sariling pamilya. Which is not right. Dapat everybody should work. Should learn to use their hands and work and produce and God will bless them. God will bless. I met my sister, Mila. Sabi ko, anong trabaho mo yan? Wala akong trabaho. Pagpagalitan ko eh. O kuya, nagtitinda na ako. Anong tinitinda mo? Chicharon. Ito, chicharon. May tatawag chicharon. Dug na maalag. Chicharon. Chicharon. Sabi ko, tama. Humingi ng pera. Hindi naman binigyan. Sabi ko, no, magtrabaho ka. Kasi binibless naman namin sila every Christmas, binibless namin sila. Pero yung the middle year, kuya, wala akong pag-tuition. Eh, yung husband mo, saan? Walang trabaho. Eh, problema ng husband mo yan. Let him produce. It's not my uh, responsibility na paaralin yung anak mo. O, di natututo sila. Sabi ko, dapat yung katrabaho ka. Bata ka pa eh. You need to learn to work. So, nang titinda-tinda siya ngayon. Oh, that's good. Sabi ko, biblas ka ng Lord dyan sa ginagawa mo. Pero nung nakita ko, may binless sila ni Pastor Rachel. Amen? Amen. <coughs> Kinalaturuan natin siya. Kasi, pag ginaan silang parasite, you are killing them. Inilalagay niyo sila sa wheelchair. Pag sinusuportahan niyo sila ng support, 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 support. Later on, their minds will retire. Hindi na mag-work ang mind. Pati yung system nila, they will not work anymore. Why? Nasanay na. Ay, malita sweldo. Ayoko niyan. Ay, ayoko maging bagger. Ayoko mag-work ng janitor. Ayoko mag-work ng ganyan. Wala na. Ayaw na mag-work. Kahit may mga opening, they don't want to work. Why? Nag-retire ang system. That's very dangerous sickness. Pag nag-retire ang system to work. Kaya while they are still a working age, which is 20 hanggang 60. Working age yan. Dapat they should be working. Should be working. Eh, si Duterte nga, eh, 72 na eh, nagtatrabaho pa as president eh. Donald Trump, 72 years old and he's still working as a president. Working, working, working. Pag malakas pa nila, ganaan tatrabaho. Pag nag-retire ang tao, hihina. Ang isip, ang katawan, ang system. Ihina po yan. Magiging parasite sila. Pero pagka active ang mind, active ang body, praise God, mananatiling buhay yan. At hindi parasite sa buong mundo. Sa bayan. We help them. Pero we don't support them to live. No, they need to work to live. Amen po? Especially kung mga brothers and sisters natin. We help them, lalo na in case of emergencies and talagang walang-walang-wala, then we help them. Pero, pag magaling naman, malakas ang katawan, so they need to work. They need to use their mind, their brain, their wisdom. Be specific sa kanilang mga tripaw. Rabbi, I want to see! So Jesus said, Go! Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. You see the miracle? Just one word from Jesus, Go! Immediately, he received his sight. 
Sabihin sa mother mo, Be healed! In Jesus' name. Ang galing yung mama mo. Mama, you're healed already. Masakit pa. Yes, lumakad ka. Bumangon ka. Magaling ka na. Lahat po ng pinagaling ni Lord, binigay niya na action. Peter's mother-in-law. You remember? She was sick with the fever, high fever. Jesus says, you're healed. O, binangon ni Jesus. Heal ka na eh. Ba't nahihiga ka pa dyan? Heal ka na. Sige, may trabaho na. Trabaho na siya. She started ministry. O, yung patay. Sabi ni Jesus, you are alive. Leave. O, bangon. O, binangon niya. O, yung lumpo sa tabi ng ng pool. Diba? Okay, get up and take up your mat and walk. Sabi ni Jesus, walk. Walk. Eh, kung hindi siya nag-walk, hindi mag- Mamanifest ang healing. Amen. Laging may aksyon. Peter and John said, okay, beautiful. Silver and gold and all, what I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus, walk. Oh, sabi ng Bible, they assisted him. And while he was standing, strengthened his knees niya. His knees were strengthened by the Holy Spirit and then he started walking. Laging may kakopol na aksyon. Ang healing. Laging may kakopol na aksyon ang paghingi ng trabaho. Lord, give me job, give me job, give me job. Ay, darating siguro trabaho. Iphone, iPhone. No job will come. Get out, go to Makati, and find a job. Amen. And you will find a job. The job will not come into your house. Alam mo, pumunta yung CEO dyan sa bahay mo, offeran ka ng job. <laughs> uh, Mr. Henry, No. Alam naman, dali ni Jesus, the CEO, I am offering you a job, no? You get up, dress up properly, prepare your CV, and go find a job somewhere in that place. Hindi lang lapit ang trabaho sa'yo. You need action. And it's true in, in everything. Lord, I want to be a mighty servant of God. Hindi ka naman ipipresent ako, anong gagawin mo? Mighty servant. <laughs> Tagal-tagal mo na sa church, wala ka pang ginagawa. Lord, hindi ko alam ang gift ko eh. Do something! Amen. And you'll find your gift! Mahusay ka pala maghugas ng bowl. Praise God. Diyan ka na permanently. <laughs> Amen. Every person has a gift. Amen. But you need to start with something small. Amen. Then God will guide you and lead you. will direct your steps, the Bible says, kung saan ka dadalhin ng Panginoon. Amen. The plan belongs to the man's heart. But our steps are ordered by the Lord. Amen. Our steps are ordered by the Lord. Did you learn something today? Yeah. Give Him praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the words of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for Bartimaeus, who serve as an example to us, Lord. Lord, help us to build our faith, to practice our faith, to walk by faith every day, and help us, Lord, to rely on your Son, Jesus, for all and everything we need, O oh God. For we declare in decree, Jesus is our provider. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody say, Amen. Come on, give me praise.